Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. Last time we got the female Gerudo outfit, and now we're able to gain access to Gerudo City, one of my favorite cities in this entire game. Uh, Sora's Domain is nice and all, but this place is pretty cool, and I like how much they expanded upon the Gerudo. Look at this place, man! Um, this shop over here sells some Volt Fruit. We just need some of them to get rank 2 of the rubber armor still. There's a bunch in the desert I'm gonna be collecting, but... And then this lovely woman over here has a side quest for us that I should be able to complete. Savak indeed. Yeah, I like how they developed their own Gerudo language in this game as well. Compared to Ocarina of Time, where these guys, they were just female thieves and that's all we knew. But yeah, she needs ten pieces of flint. I don't think I've used one single piece of flint this entire playthrough. Maybe one. I don't know. I have what you need, don't be so sad. This is one of those rare occasions where I am a man in power, able to satisfy. Here's some flint. Cheer up, sleepy Jean. Oh, what can it mean to our daydream believer? I am just giving them to you because you're pretty and that means you get things. Sarkso, but I can't take all this from you with just a Sarkso. That always makes me laugh. Uh, on my first playthrough I did Topaz because it's electric resistance, but these accessories aren't part of an outfit, they're just an accessory that cost an outfit space, if that makes any sense. I'm just gonna do Sapphire, I think, heat resistance. I'm never gonna use this stuff, I never do, because we have outfits that, uh, we can upgrade. I mean, you could upgrade these things too, but what's the point if you get a bonus for upgrading a full outfit? Brand new, especially for you. Thank you. Ooh, special discount. I like being on your special list. Feels good in the neighborhood. Yeah, the Gerudo are amazing in this game. You can get another different colored female outfit there. There's some other shops, but our goal right now is to find the secret password to get into the secret clothing shop. To buy uh, the male outfit. We got a nice bar up here. But we want to actually go through this door first and spy through the window in order to get the password. Unless we can't do it yet, I forget. Oh. Fashion passion, yeah, it's like Claire's. Buy all your butterfly earrings that you want. Huh? Yeah, I think we have to go talk to them first. In the bar itself. Unfortunately, we can't order drinks in the bar. But Oh wait, actually, there's this little girl here. There's little Gerudo girls. How cool is that? Savak indeed. Yeah, Ve is the female Gerudo. Vo is a male. Thank you, you're a very nice little girl. But, uh, I guess we have to do some main quest stuff before we can actually do her side quest. What's up, ladies? Oh, you know where. The password is... Wait a second! Aw, oh, man, come on! The lady sitting in the chair there passed out his trunk. She just says random things. But now I think we should be able to get a password by spying through this window. Mm. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Game Shark Central Diamond. That's what I always think of because I'm a product of the N64. Gerudo Secret Club. Yeah, I went through so many Game Sharks on the N64. Those things are a plastic piece of junk. This lady's got a side quest, or a shrine quest rather, for us. We were right by it last episode too. I just didn't do it. What are you doing besides wearing your underwear on the outside of your pants? Like Doug Funny, you know? Oh no, he wears it on his head. Quail Man! Yeah, it's basically the seven heroin statues we were by. It's near the maze. Near also the tower we seized last episode. That was last time, right? Yeah, it's kind of like Thunder Thundra Plateau, in that there's orbs, I think, that we have to put in place. Blessing. Come on, Link, you know it's a shrine. Why do you gotta ask? I like the music here, though. Speaking of music, I've been on a huge music kick recently, trying to shake... Ooh, I love you! Savak, indeed! I finally found the Vo of my dreams. Unfortunately, it wasn't me, was it? And now you're riddled with unhappiness. <laughs> no, her husband is sick and she needs the innards of a Mulduga. We will definitely take one out this episode, I promise you. 
Some soldiers they are. And we'll do good as a monster, a terror so savage. Taruma Dunes. I think that's actually where we're going. Sensitive to those good vibrations. Medicinal Mulduga. Yeah, so we're going to have to complete all of the side quests in this town in order to obtain the Thunder Helm later on. But we have the password now. Let's go into this back alley and sell some drugs. No. Let's say the password is 3334 in any language. Or Game Shark Central Diamond. The secret club secret. Redundant much? Oh. Haven't seen your face around here before, hmm. <laughs> Looks like we've got ourselves a bulge. I guess I have a suspicious mind, so maybe you don't ask too many questions and I won't either. Yeah, she can re see right through, thanks to Link's bulge. But this is the male Gerudo outfit. Get some nice oh. trousers here. For your average price. I love oh. the hair piece, man, look at that. It's the male bun! No, <laughs> actually it kind of is, isn't it? Is that thing even- that thing died, didn't it, at this point? That fashion passion? This thing here I never buy because what it does, you have to pay 800 rupees per part plus the luminous stones as evidence here. But at night time it gives you a speed boost when leveled up and it attracts skeletal enemies which are the most annoying enemy as it is. So why would you want to attract them? I don't know. But unless somebody really wants to see me buy it, I'm not going to. Anyway, let's go talk to Riju, the descendant of the Gerudo champion, Arbosa. Arbosa's my favorite champion, by the way. And Daruk. I like those guys. Oh, there's this little Hylian Vey as well. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, can you really not see what's going on down below? I am no ma'am. Yeah, yeah, you're the one who writes the journals. I thought there was more to this lady, but I forgot. She publishes the rumor mill that's in every stable. Nobody cares. Get a different job! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Anyway, cutscene time. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Seems you have something rather interesting there. Rather interesting indeed. Are you spying the Sheikah Slate or the bulge in my pants? <laughs> I gotta stop with a stupid bulge joke. Come no closer. Hold on, Bulliara. Keep your britches on on the outside of your pants. What is your name? I am Link. Uh. And what is it you've come all the way to tell me? I could come to Boris. With my fake Russian accent, that is so oh. terrible. <laughs> Too bad we can't play as Arbosa or Zelda. Hmm. What is that device on your hip? Well, it's a cell phone. Hmm. I don't remember ever hearing of a Hylian Vey among the champions. Wait a moment, you're a vow! <laughs> so now you notice the bulge. Huh? I did see Naboris. It was actually a beautiful sight. I enjoyed it much. And it was actually kind of creepy, too, when it roared and stuff. There's nothing wrong with anger. Anger gets things done. You best be quiet about it. So yeah, they want us to recover the Thunder Helm that's been stolen by the Yiga clan in Carusa Valley. Actually, I don't even know that we know that location yet. We gotta go talk to... Oh. Captain Teak, yeah, that's her name, yeah. <laughs> I like your blue lipstick. How many Smurfs did you kiss to get that color on? No, I don't even know what I'm saying. And now we go talk to the palest Gerudo ever. How did you get in here with such pale complexion? This is a... Town for only the tan beauties. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Bouliara sent me, yeah, you know. You're too scared to go on your own? I would love to go with a posse of Gerudo. You know how awesome that would be? Come on, Nintendo, you missed something great. Oh. I'll show you my unit. <laughs> unit. Beavis and Butthead. I don't know, that's so stupid. Where's Barta? 
Oh, she went. See, Barta was brave while the rest of you stood back. What do you have to say for yourselves now? Yeah, they're all useless. All right, well, we gotta equip a shield and go into the desert. I'm basically gonna get the three shrines on the back side of the desert. Um, it's a complete straight vertical line. We're gonna get the shrine quest one. Let's rent a sand seal instead of trying to creep up on one. Vasak, or Vasak, however you say it. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, let me pay! Let's seal the deal. Chugga Conroy would have a field day with this if he ever decides to let's play this game. He probably will in the future. I don't know. I don't know the guy. Might, but anyway, you might have just noticed the statue on the left. There's several statues in the desert here of women with swords, and if you follow the direction their swords are pointing, it will lead to a shrine. That's our first objective, and then once we obtain that shrine, I'm gonna go completely south, vertically, and we're gonna fight a Mulduga, which unlocks a second shrine, and then the final shrine in that vertical line, there's another statue right there, is um, the Great Fairy Fountain and a shrine right next to it. So that's my goal for this episode, and we're probably gonna get a ton of upgrades, seeing how that's the final Great Fairy, and we're gonna say goodbye to our rupees. Finally. Unfortunately. Into the sandstorm we go! Bye bye mini-map! You see it all staticky down there? Even if I pull up the big map, we're trapped. We can't even warp to a shrine that we unlocked. We're stuck until we get out of the sandstorm. It's very hard to see, too. Whoa! Electric Lizalfos! Um, where's the next- wait a second. Is this- is this the shrine itself already? It is! Well, that was a lot faster than I remember. I was looking for more statues, but oh well. A delayed puzzle. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's very simple, but I like it. So we just use stasis, and this thing is bouncing back and forth. You just kind of find where it goes and stasis it, then shoot it with an arrow. And that's it. That's all this shrine is. But yeah, I've been kind of down in the dumps. As I said in part 14, I have depression, and that thing attacks in waves, man. I've been trying to record this part like five times. Yeah, in the past couple days, I just was not able to do it. The commentary was so depressing and horrible. But yeah, we just moved the electric ball here, and that's the shrine. There's also a Gerudo scimitar, or actually it's a moonlit scimitar over here. We gotta loop it over the fence. Although I think my inventory is full. And the strength of this weapon isn't as good as what's in my inventory, so I think I'm gonna pass it up. Yeah, it's really not worth dropping anything at this moment. But yeah, I don't know, man, it's just... It's the most annoying thing about depression, I think, is just it always comes back and just floors you, even when you're trying, and like it takes all your energy to even just try to do anything. Okay, we'll back out here. Um, I know there's a seal randomly. Our seal that we took is gone. Well, there's warm safflina too. I'm definitely going to grab some of these so we can upgrade the rest of the snow quill outfit. I think there's some electric safflina around here too, which you could cook up for some resistance. Electric resistance, but... There should be... Yeah, there's a wild seal right there. So if I put my Sheikah outfit on, we should be able to sneak up on it and commandeer it. Um, oh, this one's on two screens now, too. <laughs> I... Yeah, I've been listening to a lot of Red Hot Chili Peppers recently, for some reason. Um, I like all their jams that they do live and stuff. Like, there, there's an outro to By The Way from their Hyde Park thing. Yeah, I'm basically going south at this point. Come here! Got him. But yeah, the outro to By The Way from the Hyde Park live DVD, I think it's like 2004 it was made. That outro is so amazing. Got some Volt Fruit here, might as well collect a bunch of these. But yeah, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, induction ceremony thing for them. Fleet got all choked up saying, like he was crying basically, saying 
when they're really playing and in the groove and stuff. Like he's home. And... I mean, obviously the Red Hot Chili, Chili Peppers aren't the best band ever. But some of the jams that they do live really are... spectacular. And I love John Frusciante's... falsetto voice. Like, some of his backup vocals are insane. Especially on other side, the end of that song gets me every time. Not emotionally, well... Like, I don't start crying, I mean, I just, just... It does something to you. Which I get where Flea was getting at. Because... Out of all the words in the English language, and probably every other language, there's not enough words to describe certain feelings, and music can bring those feelings out and say it all, and there's no words to describe it, it just happens. And that's what he's talking about when he's like, when they're really feeling it, he's home. Stupid seal! Ah, well, I guess we're going on foot. Okay, this has been taking a lot longer, I'm probably gonna cut it out, but we're very close to... Actually, this is it. There's a Mulduga right here. Yes! I love the music for the Mulduga. There's two... The Vulnerable Phase and this music that's playing right now. I'm just gonna shut up and fight this thing. Because I love the music so much, but we're gonna use a bomb to lure it. Blood Moon! Come on! This could be a problem! <laughs> I love these things, though. I want to fight a million of them. Uh, I really hope the Blood Moon doesn't restore any health I take away from this thing. That would suck. Alright, let's go, pal. As long as you stay between it and the bomb, it should eat up your bomb instead of you, as long as you don't run around too much. Okay. Oh, he swam under it! He came for me! It's because I was walking too much. Alright, we'll try this again. I'm gonna be quiet, though, because the music is amazing. And I love music. health please oh that violin is so amazing though god like that's one of those things man the violin just says so much the feeling it packs is insane all right buddy me and you I interrupted the best part of the song! I hate that. Every time you bomb it, it starts over this part of the music. Right in the duck bill or whatever that is. That was nothing. Where's your brothers? I know there's at least two more in this desert. I want to slay them all. Coolest boss. Coolest music. There needs to be more. I want like three of them swimming at me at once. That would be amazing. Or at least two, because that way you could use both bombs. And they drop amazing weapons. Do 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 do. That's actually good. What can I drop? Maybe that guardian sword. Uh, man, I got so many like giant elemental blades. I guess it, yeah. This thing is probably the best bet. Okay, so now that doesn't actually unlock the shrine. There's four torches we need to light, so I'm just gonna use fire arrows and do that. And probably in the shrine, I'm gonna play that 
outro to the Red Hot Chili Peppers concert I was talking about, because I really like it, man, and I'm in a music mood. It's like the only thing keeping me happy at the moment. Is that, I don't know, it's... I play bass a little bit, I'm not great. So Red Hot Chili Peppers are one of those bands that... When I hear them, I hear the bass most prominently than anything. And I mean, everybody knows Flea is a good bass, it's not the best, obviously. I mean, that's subjective anyway, but... There's still something amazing about it. And the outro I'm talking about that you're about to hear isn't anything overly technical, but it just captures the mood so well. And that's what music is about to me. It's just like that feeling that it, if you could bottle it up and drink it on a daily basis, I would be addicted to it because it's amazing. Try to say I'd be there waiting for mess up these Lord of the Rings quotes. Do 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 <laughs> Violin is in my head, man. We should see something that looks like Ridley's head from Metroid. I actually think I see it. It's very hard. Uh, yeah, it's like a huge bill. You see it? It looks like a dinosaur bill. Think Ridley's mouth, and I see Ridley's mouth. Run for it. It's the great skeleton. That's where the great fairy is. Yes, indeed. And there would be a Gerudo here, exhausted. But I didn't trigger that side quest. Like a moron. Alright, well, here we go. Hawakoth Shrine. I don't remember what this is. Oh, yeah, I do. This one's kind of neat. The little pillars right there indicate how you're supposed to line up these blocks in order to carry the electricity to the switch. Or, you could just use a shock arrow, which is what I tend to do most, because it never works for me. I always line these up improperly. Uh, come on, it's right there. Mmm, you dumb Denise. Take that. No, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use a shock arrow. Oh yeah, this is that crazy shrine. It's got like this room and one more giant room we gotta do. So, um, we gotta unloop that chain, ball and chain, but first there's this. There's a bunch of little guardian scouts up there too. But we could dump them in the water. It kind of reminds me of those wild and crazy kids or whatever, like those weird, random Nickelodeon things. I guess a dunk tank. But yeah, like that, you could dunk them and it kills them, that's nice. Anyway, I'll get that guy with the ball that's up top here, but let's unloop this thing and put it by that switch so we can actually get up on that platform. Yeah, and I've, like I've said, I've been trying to record for like five days and I've just been in a terrible mood and unable to do it. I've tried, but I had to scrap all of this stuff because... These things are only so interesting as it is, and if I really am unhappy myself with the recording, then I know it's definitely bad. But 
yeah, if we put this next to the switch, it should dunk the last one. Yeah, goodbye. And there's 300 rupees behind this wall. And since we're about to lose everything we just won at Pondo's Lodge off screen, it's good to grab this, I suppose. But yeah, I'll share a little secret with me, or about me. In 2014, I was in a coma for five days due to an overdose on depression medication that I think was purposeful. I definitely had the thoughts. And I will be honest with you, in terms of suicide attempts, legitimate suicide attempts, I'm at four total at this point. And um, that's kind of where my head's been at recently. This is like the better of the days so far. So I think I'm going to keep this recording. But I have no problem being honest about this stuff. I know there's a stigma about it, but I kind of believe in talking about this stuff. And I'm not really ashamed of it. But yeah, my dad found me having seizures. He had a spare key for my apartment in 2014. And he got a phone call from my mom, who was convinced something was wrong because I wasn't answering messages. And, um, my dad came over and found me having seizures on the bathroom floor with pills scattered everywhere. I forget how to solve this puzzle. I think you use stasis, but you could also use magnesis. You gotta time it perfectly. Wait, no, hold on. I think you can use magnesis. I'm gonna do that. Just You just gotta line up the middle one, because the other ones are where they need to be. But yeah, I feel bad that my dad had to see that. And it's Father's Day. Father's Day at nighttime right now. And I didn't do anything with my dad. He didn't want to. And... I don't know. I'm 30 years old and there's like a lot on my mind all the time. So... Stupid ideals of like white picket fence lifestyles that probably aren't realistic, but I feel like a lot of my friends are still living that kind of life. And so I constantly compare myself to where I should be, and I'm nowhere near it. So stuff constantly gets to me. And people who are supposed to be my support group that, like, you know, family or friends, like, nobody really actually helps. I feel like they just make things worse in certain ways. But yeah, I've tried a whole bunch of different stuff. And it's, it's just a crazy illness, I guess. Okay, time to say goodbye to all the rupees! But first I'm gonna collect all the safflinas around here, because I don't know if we have enough for the remaining two snow quill outfit things, and we're definitely gonna be coming up to the Gerudo Highlands soon. But yeah, I feel like I have 10 years till 40. Well, that that's a fact. In 10 more years, I'll be 40 years old, and I feel like that's the time limit to becoming a successful adult career-wise and everything. So I'm constantly stressed out about that stuff. And definitely, like, marriage and things. Like, I feel like I have 10 years to get it all together, and I'm, like, 20 years behind, I feel like, so... It's very easy to fall deep into depression. <laughs> And the medications that they give you for that crap makes it worse half the time. But anyway, this is the Grandma Great Fairy. She coughs when she comes out. It's weird. But we're gonna get a ton of upgrades right now, because I have so many parts, thanks to Master Mode, giving us so many, like, Liz Alfos tales and stuff this whole time. What you were thinking at this moment. Mm -hmm. You're probably thinking, can't we just skip to the part where she can <laughs> Yes, that is what I'm thinking. Huh? To the max! Alright, let's do it. Champion's tunic, there we go. 32 <laughs> maximum defense. Thank God. Huh? We're ready for anything now, and there's the final Great Fairy animation. <laughs> yeah, I was actually just watching <laughs> reruns of Friends, and like I feel like like all of them were like late 20s, early 30s during that show, and I feel like that's 
<laughs> kind of how you're supposed to live at this age, and I'm, I don't know. Oh, gotta enhance the oh. pants. Yeah, pull my pants down in those, in that pool of yours. Hot tub. <gasps> Whatever, I don't know what I'm saying. Alright, well, I upgraded a whole bunch. I'm probably just gonna cut it all out. So the Hylian stuff is maxed out. Level 3 on all the snow quill. Maxed out the headpiece for the male Gerudo and level 2 for the rest of it. Um, female Gerudo stays the same. Level 3 of the rubber helm. Level 2 for the rest of it. Flamebreaker stayed the same. Maxed out the Zora outfit. And maxed out the Sheikah outfit. And I also ranked up the attack helm to two tiers. So there we go, that's a bunch of stuff. Now what? Well, there was this shrine that I walked by off screen and never um, actually did, so I guess we should do that. Bravery's Grasp, what is this one again? Oh yeah, this is that weird one that took me forever to figure out because I didn't realize you could pick up this laser shooting thing down here. And this is a topaz, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. See, like, that stuff annoys me. Why Why do I remember stuff like that? Like, oh yeah, the Bravery's Grasp Shrine, there's a topaz. Like, when... How is that information gonna help me in real life? Is it gonna get me a job? No. Is it gonna impress a woman? No. <laughs> it's just... Stuff like that, I can easily dissect and feel miserable about it and just be like, I'm a worthless loser, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it's just dumb, man. I, I don't know. My brain is insane. I'm starting some new cognitive behavioral therapy stuff, which I thought I was doing anyway this whole time, because, like, what other kind of therapy is there? But yeah, I, I don't know. It's, I'll, I'll just stop talking about it for now. But yeah, you can fly over there and get the other chest, but I don't care. It's probably some random crap that we don't have space for anyway. Yeah, outside of here it's all flies and nasty crap. There's a lady that doesn't know how to cook either, but we're gonna go to that other thing I stamped right there. There's a shrine quest. It's probably the worst shrine quest in the game. You have to roll a snowball to the proper size and make its shadow cast on a mountainside. And it has to be precise, otherwise it doesn't work. And somewhere over here I got a Korok seed off screen, but I don't remember where exactly. Okay, we're slowly getting closer. For some reason, it's snowy, even though we're not near the Highland region. Oh, hey, I need more of your tails. I couldn't upgrade the Gerudo stuff all the way because of it. Oh, yeah. I don't know what else to talk about right now. E3 has been done. I don't know. Spider-Man was the most impressive game to me. I wish I had a PlayStation 4 and I could get it. But then again, like, that's just playing another video game and wasting your life, so why would you do that? But, I don't know, see? Like, I just, I go back and forth with the same stuff all the time. Uh, I think we're by it. Where the heck is it? Oh, it's over here, that little, like, cabin structure thing. So if you have a flame weapon, you could help melt these snowballs to the proper size. And I think it's at 4 p.m. this thing activates, and you have to get the shadow exactly right to fill the center of the platform. And it's a pain in the neck! So we'll see what happens. 4 p.m. Um, frost weapons help keep it frozen, and now I'm freezing. Okay. Come on, it's right in the middle. Look at the middle of the orange thing. Tell me that's... I guess it's not fully... Did it, did it do it? You're kidding, right? Ah, well, that's why they put a campfire here, I guess. I hate this. 
Okay. Please work this time. I have another setup, maybe, that I saw online. Yes, it worked. That has to work, right? Yes. I had a backup strategy I saw. I watched a YouTube video. I'm gonna cut all that time out, obviously, but... Apparently, if you just put a Cryonis block in the pond that's right here, and crouch on top of it, the shadow from the block and Link will fill the circle and unlock the shrine. So you don't even have to worry about the snowball. That makes it way easier, but... Yeah, apparently it works. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I just crouched on top of this at the proper time, the shadow would have worked. I think this might be the last thing we do this episode, because I don't know where we're at time-wise. It's a blessing, of course. Okay, I just dropped a claymore, because I like that weapon. But okay, I think that's all for this time. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hopefully I'll stay in a good mood and be able to record more, but I'm not sure, because things are a little bit crazy in my head right now. But thanks again, and I'll see you around.